If your system is crashed or stops working in an ideal way, then you can get Recover It to retrieve back your lost or inaccessible data. Download and install Recover It on a working computer, prepare a blank USB drive, and connect it to the computer. In Recover It, you can just select System Crashed Computer on the left side of the interface, and then click on Start button to launch the recovery. Step 1. Preparations for Crash Recovery Another working computer A blank USB drive Connect the device to the computer. Step 2. Create a bootable media To recover data from an unbootable computer, you need to create a bootable media to start it up first. Now, let's have a look at how to create a bootable drive. Create a bootable drive. If you are unable to launch your Windows computer, you can use Recover It to create bootable media and recover data. Make sure a blank USB drive is connected to the working computer and can be recognized. Select the drive to create a bootable media, and then click Create to start. In order to create a bootable drive, there are two processes to be completed. Formatting the USB drive. Creating a bootable drive. Once you choose to create a USB bootable drive, an alert message about formatting a USB flash drive will pop up. So, you need to make sure you have backed up your important data before formatting the media. After the two processes are finished, the bootable drive used to boot your crashed computer up is created. Boot crashed computer from USB drive. After creating a bootable USB flash drive, what you need to do next is to follow the below steps. Connect the USB flash drive to your computer. Adjust the BIOS to boot from USB drive, restart your crashed computer and press the BIOS entry key when the first screen is displayed. The key can be different from one system to another. Every system has a BIOS, basic input-output system, option that users can access. In this way, they can customize the BIOS settings and set the attached USB drive as a primary source for booting. You can access the BIOS options by pressing the BIOS entry key when the system is turning on. You can check out two pages to learn how to set the computer to boot from a USB drive and how to set the computer to boot from CD-ROM. Step 3. Recover data from crashed computer. After following the above steps, you'll find that the crashed computer becomes bootable now. You can choose hard disk copy or data recovery as you need. Hard disk copy. Select the hard disk copy, and then you can choose the copy directory. Connect a good hard drive to the crashed computer. Select the hard drive you just connect and click the copy button. Then the screen shows the process of copying data from a crashed computer to the hard drive. When the copying process is finished, data copy completed will pop up. Data recovery. After selecting the data recovery, you can choose a disk to start the scanning. Connect a good hard drive to the crashed computer. Once the scanning process is over, you can choose a location to save the recovered data. You can choose the hard drive that you connect to the crashed computer, and click the Recover button, then Recover It starts to recover data from the crashed computer to the hard drive. For success recovery, it will show congratulations. Files recovery completed. Notes. You can preview different types and formats of data, such as photos, videos, audios, documents, and many more. After recovering data, please save them to another safe location, like an external hard drive or removable device.